Well, on a day where Winfoot showed how difficult the course can be, it was Patrick Reed who shined under the pressure. Good evening, my name is Lucas Weiss, reporting remotely on the 120th U.S. Open from Wingfoot Golf and Country Club. Thursday's Wingfoot was a lot more easier than today's Wingfoot by a whole two strokes harder. And Patrick Reed definitely shined in those fast conditions, shooting an even par 70. Patrick Reed said after the round that yesterday the course was a lot more gettable, but today, given how fast the greens were, the USGA gave the players all they could handle. I feel like today was that day. Um, I feel like I, I left a decent amount of shots out there. I feel like I was a little loose with, with some shots off tee and also irons and to be able to feel like that and come out and shoot even par around a, a day like today, it's definitely a positive and you know, makes you feel good going on the weekend. Patrick Reed only converted 36% of his fairways, but he finished second in strokes gained approach and sixth in strokes gained putting. What was amazing with Reed was his ability to respond after bogeys, particularly getting critical birdies. And no better example than his finishing hole, the par 5 ninth. A hole that you had to birdie today. He hit it in the rough than the bunker and was able to get it up and down for the birdie to take the 36-hole lead solo. The round of the day, however, was Bryson DeChambeau. He shot a 2-under 68, and DeChambeau, while he missed some fairways as well, he was very effective with his irons. And no better example than that par 5 ninth where he drove it over 330 yards in the fairway and was able to approach it within 10 feet of the hole and convert an eagle, which got him to three under par for the day. So it's Reed and DeChambeau in the final group on Saturday, moving day at the U.S. Open, but it's also known as Survival Day here at Wainfoot, which means that guys like Xander Shoffley at even par are very much alive in this tournament. If they can hit good shots, rely on their ball striking, and take advantage when the course presents them opportunities to do so. Wingfoot's going to get faster, it's going to get tougher, which is why it's one of the quintessential U.S. Open tests. This is Lucas Weiss reporting remotely on the 120th U.S. Open after the second round.